Hello everyone. This is Judy coming to you from my scrapbook loft. And I'm trying to get my PC in frame there because someone has asked me to show them how I made these pocket tag circles on my Cricut. So I'm going to try to do that. Now, I'm not real good at this, so we'll do what we can, okay? Um, I brought up my Cricut Design Space program. I'm going to go to New Project. Make sure your computer's, your Cricut's on. Uh... Get out of the one I was working on. I'm going to come over here to images. And I own this um, cartridge, Elegant Edges. Everything that I have is online now because, you know, you can't put your cartridge in your computer anymore. Your Cricut and print anymore, seems like. So I have Elegant Edges, and that's what I used. And I went down here, and I found... A um, circle that I like and I put insert image and I'm gonna come up here where this lock is and I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to make that four inches okay that's the first step that's your layer and your see over here you're going to get your basic cut, and then you're going to get your, uh, like a shadow, the shadow underneath it. Then you're going to get the um, design one here. Then I'm going to go to shapes, and I'm going to get me a circle. And I'm going to bring it over here. I'm going to go up here and unlock this. I made this elegant edge. I made it four inches. I'm going to make this one three and three quarters. 3.75 and 3.75. Okay? That's going to give me what I need for the inside of this because I want these uh, pretty edges to show. So I just want enough to put inside here. Okay, and this should do it, all right? And I'm gonna cut this circle in half when I get it cut. So then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna do make it. And I wanna cut this shadowy one first. So I'm gonna do, <clears throat> I went down here and I hit on it and it brought up the third cut that's the shadow of my elegant edge. I'm going to do continue. I'm going to put my mat in my Cricut because it tells me to. And I've got 85 pound cardstock, so I'm going to put it on poster board cut. And it's going to cut. Okay, that piece is cut. I'm going to take this out, get that piece off, and now I'm going to put my pattern paper on for my elegant edge cut. And I'm going to put it in the computer, in the computer, in the Cricut machine. Wait, wait, wait. Cancel. Did I do the? I didn't hit my button. Okay, hold on. I want this one. 
this one right here, number two. That's the one I want, okay? So now I'm gonna cut it. You gotta change your setting back down, I forgot to tell you that, to just cardstock when you put regular cardstock in. Oh, I'm sorry, I wonder what it did. I touched a button. Press resume. There we go. Sorry about that. Fingers, fingers get too busy. that elegant edge I hope this helps you. Um, let's see if I can get the name here. Sorry, I'm looking at the comments. Janice Walters. I hope this helps you, Janice. Now I'm going to take this one out and take that off. And then I'm going to print my other circle. Print, cut. Oh gosh, y'all, I'm sorry. All right, now we're going to cut the last circle, the one we're going to cut in half, which is this one. And remember, it's three and three quarters, 3.75. Okay, and we're going to finish that up here. I'm going to hit finish, and see that's done. So we're we're finished making what we want here, and we want um, one more circle. Okay, we're going to take this one off, and we're going to resize this one to. Uh, let's just do three and a half. Be easier. Okay, and that's going to be for our um, half pocket. What we're going to put on our half pocket.
Okay. We're going to cut it. Then I'll turn you around and show you how we put I'm going to put it together. And now we are done cutting our pieces. Now let's finish this. And this. And let's see. We are finished. If you want to save it, you just hit save when you, uh, you can save it over in here. Do, 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 do. What did I do? Home. Okay, and you can save it. I'm going to get out of this. Turn off my Cricut. And I'm going to turn you around here so you can see what I'm doing by putting this together. Okay, all right. <clears throat> We're going to put this on our shadow, line it up, okay, I'm going to hold it down, and I'm going to glue the center first. Using art glitter glue which dries fast and then I'm just going to go around this circle get my cotton old t-shirt and I'm gonna start gluing this down And here's our circle for the pocket that we're going to make, and we're going to fold that in half, okay? And then we're just going to cut it in half. Just like that. And see how much bigger it is than the inside of that, than this inside? we're going to make it curl. Let's see. I had what I had. Here we go. We're going to put that in the center of it like that. And that's going to help us hold it up. Just like that. Okay? And we're going to glue this down. Right along the edge the paper up right. We're going to start right along the edge of that scallop of the edge there. There's that one. Now we're going to cut this one in half. Remember, it's a quarter of an inch smaller than this one. On the elegant edge, this part here, this one's four inches. 
This one's three and three quarters. Yeah, three and three quarters. And this one is three and a half, okay? I'm gonna fold that in half. And we're gonna cut it off. And you need to cut straight. <laughs> and I, there we go. And it fits perfect. And there's your pocket, circle pocket tag. Now, if you wanted, if you're not going to use an edge like this that you want to show and you're just going to have um, a circle, then we're going to cut this down just a hair dab. Right here so you can see what I'm doing. This is three and a half. This is three and a quarter. You can make this one work too. Depends on how deep you want your pocket. I could have just gone an eighth of an inch bigger and done this. Come on, way down there. There you have another pocket. You can just use your circle. And that's how I used my Cricut to make my circle pocket tag. Sweetie, I hope this helped you. Um, if not, if I confused you, I'm so sorry. Um, if, if I did, let me know below and I'll try to make it simpler or, or make it make myself more understandable. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not very good on the Cricut Design Space myself. I get on there and hunt and peck and, and um, manage to do what I need to do. So, um, yes, that's it. <laughs> I want to um, thank you all for watching. Hugs to you from me and God bless.